Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, what's up guys? This is Charm for Peace. I hope you like the new video. And or the new intro, I mean, sorry. Uh anyway, this this video is not actually the one that that I promised yesterday. Uh what pretty much what happened was the recording went nicely and everything. There's no lag spikes or whatever. But when it came time to record in the clip, I noticed that the audio track was not in sync with the video track at all. I lined it up at the beginning, and then about two minutes after, er, two minutes through, it was off sync comp entirely again, and it was just annoying. But anyway, today. I am going to be showing you my my current base on a server called 1b1t.org, which is a anarchy server, much like 2b2t, and that being that there are no rules, as close to pretty much vanilla Minecraft as you can get, and anything goes. The only times the owner steps in is whenever there is a major, or er, issue with how the server is performing and whatnot. But anyway, right now my base here, I am calling it Archeot. And this isn't a permanent base. I am making it though. But the reason why I'm making it is because Archeot, if you unscramble the letters in that word, you will get the word chariot. Which pretty much with that said this will be a pass through t base so this will be a base where people can set their spawn do some fishing and hunt for food or whatever just take a little rest while they're on their journey out to the ten out to the hundreds of thousands uh, right now this base is pretty much halfway to the hundreds to the hundred thousands in either direction uh, po both positive, positive and positive, and yeah, this base, when I'm done with it, which might be pretty soon actually, it will be a nice little spot for people to stop over and do whatever, but here I have a little fishing hut for people to fish and mend their gear and whatnot. And the one thing, what the one reason why I chose this location specifically, well, actually, there's a couple reasons. First of all, there's that water there for the fishing and for some farms. Uh, there is this nice lava pool here to give it a little dimension to it. And this is actually one of the things that we did yesterday. Well, that we tried to do yesterday was we flattened out this area and we put the glass over top of it and we made it into a circle. And another thing we did yesterday was we widened this passage down to the main base. And what I kind of want to do is I want to line this whole wall with double chests like that. And in between these are going to be the trap chests so it's all f nice and chock full of chests for people to store their crap items or what, not, or what have you. And there is a grinder here. But the special thing about this grinder is that it is a double skeleton grinder. So as you can see we got the two skeleton spawners right there and there. So yeah, it is a double skeleton grinder, which is awesome. And this is in the Extreme Hills biome, so there are plenty of emeralds around for people to mine. And down here is a little hall area, got the portals, got a couple beds already, and Right here, I am planning on making this a enchanting room. Uh, so, yeah, for those of you that don't know, enchanting rooms, the best way to do them is to make them a, f a five by five room. With, er, well, if, 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 if you're mining it all completely out beforehand, make it a five by five room that's four high. The reason for that is because as you, the first layer here is for the floor. And you want to do the floor with bookshelves. I, 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 
Uh, everyone has their own personal preference for how many bookshelves they put into the enchanting room. But if you want, if you're wanting a full on, on, on complete enchanting room, you want to do the whole floor with bookshelves, including that center spot there, and then you want to do the walls around with a one, with a one by two opening in the middle for you to get into, and then fill the ceiling with enchant with bookshelves, and then the enchanting table right in the middle. And you do not want any light sources directly inside the enchanting room. Pretty much, you don't want any light sources between the enchanting table and the bookshelves. So, these glowstone right here, those are good to stay there. That one right there will be moved. Pretty much, enchanting rooms generally are dark if you have them full on. If you have the full, complete enchanting room. Yeah, they're they're dark because light does affect the enchantments you get. But anyway, this <laughs> this this is how the base is coming along so far as I am working on it, and it is a decent little thing. It's it isn't anything special because it is, as I said, a pass through base for anyone that happens to find it. So that actually, yeah, you know what. I am currently at pretty much 58k, 46k. So, if if you're traveling through here and you made it halfway to 100k, m take a detour over to here to set your spawn, make make a rest, r refuel, whatever, repair your gear, etc., etc., etc. But anyway, with all that being said. If anyone happens to find this space and watches this video, leave a comment down below saying "found it," and I will be sure to leave you a look, and I will be sure to give a thumbs up on that comment as well as reply to it. Uh, anyway, I will catch you all later. Have a good day. Peace.